All right, so I had a, several comments on my last video about uh, these anvil locks that I put on my torque lift fast gun tie downs that they weren't very secure and uh, that most thieves carry wire cutters, most thieves carry a screwdriver or some other type of device to, you know, cut or break a lock or pry a lock open. So I have a couple of tools here that uh, I'm going to do just that. I'm going to see what it takes to break one of these locks open. And again, um, you know, these locks, more than anything, um, I think are a deterrent. You know, if somebody sees a lock, they're going to they're gonna move on to the next target. Something that's, you know, a little bit easier to get to that's not locked down. So that was my, my, my main, you know, thing I wanted to show was that Having, just having a lock on it is deterrent enough, in my opinion, that people are going to, any thieves are going to just move on to the, to the uh, you know, a, an easier target. So with that being said, in case, you know, there are thieves out there that are, you know, wanting to take a little bit extra time, I'm going to try to do that. So I'm going to sacrifice one of these locks and I'm going to see uh, just what it takes to uh, get it open and take one of these tie downs. So maybe just a couple of uh, small tools that a thief might carry in their pocket while they're out uh, searching for something easy to steal. So these are the tools I'm going to use. I'm going to start with the screwdriver. Well, I'm going to start with just trying to pry it open uh, with my hand. And then I'll do the screwdriver and then the uh, needle nose pliers and then the wire cutters. See if I can cut that cable. First of all, you got to pull off this C-clip. So they have to get that off, which is no problem, obviously. And then they've got the lock here. So first thing that I would think they would want to do is, is try to just pry it by, you know, using leverage of the handle. So. I don't know if you can see my knuckles turning white, but I'm putting force on that and it's not coming undone. So let's try the screwdriver. To try to twist it, break it. bend in my screwdriver <laughs> See if I can show you a little bit better here that's not coming undone okay so again that's not coming undone need on those pliers oh it's breaking it broke all right so there it is I broke the cable Now I can take the tie down. They got to do that four times if they want to take these tie downs, but it can be done with these locks. Probably, you know, with a little bit of effort, they can break that cable. All right, so you can see that the cable broke right there with. Uh, you know, pry, using leverage, prying that uh, with the needle nose pliers. So, let's just while I've got the uh, lock here, got my wire cutters. Let's see if we can just cut this cable. Yep. So it can be cut pretty easily with two hands. All right. So again, these anvil locks, more of a deterrent than a real safety. You know, uh, device for uh, preventing theft. It's really just, um, in my opinion, uh, a deterrent. Uh, if somebody sees it locked up, they're gonna move on to the, uh, you know, to the an easier target. So that's what I'd be hoping for if I was using these. Um, 
Am I going to continue using these? Probably not. I'll probably take them off and uh, just do the right thing and get the, uh, you know, spend the $70, $80 for the uh, torque lift uh, tie-down locks, um, specifically for the fast guns.